Time now for the ridiculous, and tonight we have a giant leap in the United States' effort to normalize diplomatic relations with Cuba. The people of Cuba got a six-foot-four dose of red-headed American awesomeness when the greatest U.S. ambassador that has ever lived taped a show there. Conan in Cuba aired the other night, and it was spectacular. He danced, he drank rum, he tried to make friends. Pretty much no one knew who he was. Sounds like the perfect trip, actually. One of my favorite parts was when he went to a Havana rooftop, which turned out to be the perfect vantage point for his poignant observations on life in the island nation. The guy yelling, I don't know what he's saying. I think he's yelling at the dog that won't stop barking. Oh good, the dog's barking again. The dog got suspiciously quiet. And then, as the sun set over Havana, a rooftop epiphany. I'm now solely reporting on the barking of the dog. I'm realizing Anderson Cooper is a very easy job. Fair enough. I don't contest that fact, although I, I just want to point out a few things that, that you're doing wrong. Not a huge deal, just, just some minor tweaks. Let, let's get this one out of the way right now. If you want to do field reporting, you're going to have to reel in that bouffant. There's a reason why my hair is very short. It does not get blown around by hurricanes, earthquakes, or airstrikes, or I guess in this case, dog breath. You cannot report with your hair blowing around like that. It's just, it's distracting for the viewer. The camera guy can't even keep it in frame all the time. Also, and I, just a suggestion, if you're going to be reporting from the scene, you gotta keep it interesting. Where are the, the bells, the whistles? Where's the passion? Where, where are the breaking news banners? The dog has stopped barking now. We await now to see if the dog will continue barking. Because this is what they do on CNN. They pretend something's new and it really isn't a child that's straight in the distance. Still no word from the dog. Maybe the dog's been fed. Possibly the dog has gone to sleep. Although that would be unusual for a dog to go to sleep that quickly after barking that much. The dog is back now. We are now getting the running out and the dog is barking again, getting something like that at the top of this beautiful roof on this gorgeous night. We don't know what kind of dog it is. I'm guessing it's a mixed breed. It sounds like a smaller dog. Eventually it may grow into a larger dog. <laughs> I think what we've pretty much proven here is I could fill six hours a night on CNN. I stand corrected. That is hands down, hair up, the best rooftop reporting we've ever seen on The Ridiculous.